I'm working on a project and there's over a hundred million dollars in the budget and much of the movie is visual and I have to design the characters, I do not determine success by whether or not this movie wins an Academy Award or breaks blockbuster records. My success is determined by whether or not I tried my absolute hardest. Four-time Oscar Award winner Clint Eastwood said, there's a lot of great movies that have won Academy Awards and a lot of movies that haven't. You just do the best you can. Success isn't determined by whether or not the director, the producer, or whoever's in charge likes your stuff. No, we can't win every battle this way. We can't let the battles that we so-called lose affect us negatively. So my battle is always with myself. Did I try my hardest? Did I improve myself? If I did, then I will inevitably win in the long run. I will inevitably be successful in the long run. And that's the most important thing. The next important belief I have is, if bad things happen when I'm trying my absolute best and working hard, good things are just around the corner. Let me repeat this because this is one of the core philosophies that I have adopted. If bad things happen to you when you are trying your hardest, then that means you're about to reach the next level and good things are on their way. However, you must choose to stay positive and work through it. I cannot stress enough how important this is. The true character of a person and whether or not they will succeed is determined by how he or she deals with failure. Like all of us, Pixar animator Aaron Hartline has had his share of success and failure. And his sage advice is this. Put your head down and work hard. And it sounds kind of bad to say, but I promise you, you're going to get rejected and you're going to get, you know, people are going to say no and no and no. And then all it takes is that one yes. And it's what you do with that yes that you move you on to the next level and the next level. When I graduated college, I took a job at a television studio doing work that was not art related. I spent my nights doing art freelance, hoping and wishing that I could build up a big enough client list to allow me to quit my job and just do freelance full time. The day that I took that leap and quit my job to start my independent art career in earnest, something happened to me that was extremely bad luck. I went home and my computer wouldn't start. Instead, it just made this whirr and click sound, whirr and click. The disc that turned in my hard drive was broken and couldn't spin properly anymore. That was the sound of my whole portfolio, lost and gone, whirr and click. All the high-res versions of many of my earliest paintings were irretrievable. Many people will look at this as fate telling me that I made the wrong move and I shouldn't be a freelancer. That thought had definitely crossed my mind, but as soon as it did, another one followed, much bigger, much louder, and in much disagreement. It said, fate is testing you to see what you're going to do now. You're on your way to become an amazing freelancer and you're going to have a great career. But first you must pass this test to show that you're worthy of the good fortune that will follow. When you're doing something big, fate will constantly enter the room and push you down. It will stand over you and taunt you. It will ask, are you strong enough to get back up and keep going? Because if you are, great things will happen. That's what I did. That's what I chose to believe. Whether or not it's true is irrelevant. My belief made it real. It was what moved me forward then, and it continues to move me forward now. I believed that my computer trouble was just fate testing me. I believed that if I chose to move forward and battle through, then great things will happen, and my career will go to that next level. Because I believed this, it became true. If I chose to be defeated by my broken hard drive and thought instead, oh, this is fate telling me I shouldn't be a freelancer. Who am I kidding? I should beg for my job back. Then my life would have been dramatically different. And you would have no reason to listen to this book because I would have accomplished very little. 
When I was building my digital painting class on schoolism.com, I was faced with a huge roadblock. I became sicker than I have ever been in my life. This was during a time when I had to record my classes, yet I couldn't speak, and I was struck down by one sickness after the other. A cough became the flu, then some other virus, and on and on. At one point, my doctor diagnosed me with chickenpox, even though I had already had chickenpox as a kid, and therefore supposedly immune to it. I remember sitting on my balcony one night, staring off into the darkness and thinking, "Why is this happening to me? Of all the times that I could get sick, why now?" Then that reminded me about fate's tests. I was knocked down to see if I was worthy of the great things to come once I had schoolism up and running. How did I know this? Because I was trying my absolute hardest, and was on the cusp of achieving something remarkable. After I reassessed that belief, I became energized. Far from feeling sick and depressed, my belief that something amazing was just around the corner helped pick me up and gave me the energy and motivation to continue. Now, the key part in this thinking is that you must already be trying as hard as you can. If you're not trying hard, you're inviting bad things to happen to you. You know in your heart whether or not you slack off a little more than you should. You're the best judge of whether or not you've done everything humanly possible to reach your goals. So be honest with yourself. Are you trying your absolute hardest? If not, what changes can you make within yourself to ensure that you will be trying your hardest from now on? This is vital because bad things happen to successful people and unsuccessful people alike. But when you're trying your hardest and really giving it your all, and bad things still happen to you, then that means great things are on their way. So when you're working and trying hard, and something bad happens. Won't you be excited and curious to see what great thing is around the corner if you just keep going? There's your motivation. There's your hard work. Hard work is a valuable commodity. So the ability to always work hard is an invaluable asset, much more than simply being brilliantly talented. With over 20 credits to his name, feature film mat painter Dylan Cole knows a thing or two about the value of hard work. Is yeah, as far as ingredients, I mean yes, certainly talent, but I think hard work trumps talent.、Um, you know, there's so much wasted talent by laziness; it's disgusting. And so,、um, you know, cultivated talent, I would say, is is probably the best thing. But yeah, I mean, just brute force hard work. Thank、you